I'm an act, my scribe. Write this. The great Nile gave us a gift, Kemet. Pharaohs before me rolled the rich earth into their palms and out of it unfurled a golden empire. In my dreams, my divine father tells me, protect it. Yet my own children seek to tear it apart. I'm a mess, will waste no time when I'm dead. He was always a great leader of men. I tried to appease him with gold, yet he took it as a slight, an exile. He seeks to return to Waset by any means. He wishes to carve his name in stone. If that is what ruling is to him, then let the desert take him. Let the Nile swallow him. And like her brother, Tausret knows what it means to rule, in war and in peace. And Egypt for the ages needs Egypt's greatest mind to lead the way. I hope she can do it from her husband's side. She loves Seti. But knowing him and knowing her disdain for Amun Mess, she might decide to walk a different path. My children weigh heavy on my heart, and I dread the feather's judgment. My eyes grow dim, but the falcon's sight must never falter. Across the Payem Sea, a storm is brewing. The Canaanites have churned their desperation into rage. They look west. Their ancestors did it once before, long ago. Egypt must stay vigilant clear of eye. But I look in my successor's eyes, and all I see is pride and petty anger. Seti's soul is as fragile as his hopish hand is strong. He has the strength of will to carry all of Egypt and more. Yet he causes his own people no end of grief. Would that his gentleness went further than his love for Tausret. But he thinks himself a god already beyond reproach, beholding to no power in this world or the other. I know of one such who was forgotten and others who are remembered forever in stone. They call us divine and we believe it. Yet our bodies in their mortal frailty fail in the end. Kemet abides. Bloodlines war over the black soil and doing so they seep into it. Souls pass into the fields of reeds, our endless names forgotten. Ramesses, is that name meant to last? The founding father of our bloodline, my own great father. Now, this boy, he is as unruly as his sire is obedient. The old one has changed, and the young one shines ever brighter. Will he burn out on the rocks of Sinai or engulf my legacy? The sun shines on the Nile, yet all I see is blood in the water. The shores of Canaan are already flowing with blood. Ours is the red land, theirs is the blood land. We have claimed it as ours, and so have the Hittites. Was it ever? Their gods are born of elemental grief and rage. And so are their children, and those children grow up. My own Chancellor Bey, I have asked him a hundred times where he came from, and he has given me a hundred different answers. Speaking with him, I have caught myself distrusting my own words. I do not know who he is or what he is. He has been a pillar of my rule. But his fundament is water. Water always finds a path. How much will he sweep away? And this one. I know exactly who he is. When I broke the nine bows, I destroyed his father with them and created him. He does not stop. 
and does not die. The gods must protect, yet he does not believe in them. But a force of nature is there for all to see. Faith or no faith, such are Canaan and its gods. Such is Irsu. No gods, no kingdoms. Ruins are Irsu's only shrine, his only throne. The nightmare of Egypt in tatters haunts my dreams. Hatti's nightmare haunts their waking lives. Their crumbling land cannot sustain their hunger. So petty warlords tear pieces of living flesh from their kingdom for themselves. Maybe some will grow strong in their reign and a new kingdom will rise. But Hatti, Hatti will fall. Among the false would-be kings, there is one who always had a claim. In Kurunta's lifetime, the royal blood of Hatti turned against itself, broke the land, poisoned the succession. For all of it, Kurunta was there, lurking. I see him now, ready to prey on what became of Hatti. Hati still stands for now. Its fate rests on the tired shoulders of great King Shupilyuma. He would not bear to outlive his kingdom, and so he shall die trying to save it. With his people's remaining strength and faith behind him, he will do no less than stand firm, a shield between them and destruction. They will do no less than die for him, for now, he is Hati. My land of gold and grain, I have endless faith in you. Whoever lifts the crown from my cold brows, they will do so by the will of the gods, and the will of Kemet, and the will of Deshret. But for a little while yet, I am yours and you are mine. The sea is not. It chills my bones and sets my old fears ablaze. Ra, light our path through the desert. Thoth, guide us in wisdom. Horus, vanquish our foes. Mad, have mercy.